So today we have a little bit of an unboxing video. On this channel, we do these unboxings from time to time. And as you'll see, we've never used this product before. So this isn't like a review. This isn't a massive explanation of whether you should buy this product or not. It's more of an initial take on what the product's like. So what we have today is the one Z Espresso, I honestly don't know how to pronounce it. It's one espresso manual coffee grinder. This is the K-Pro, and it's one of the premium manual hand grinding coffee grinders out on the market. So we're gonna bust this open and we'll see what's inside. So personally, I do hand grind my coffee when I'm traveling, and a lot of people do. I tend to use the Hario Curtain Pro, and to be honest, it's a workout. So I'm really interested to see if this professional grinder is a little bit easier, you know, on an exercise standpoint. And let's crank this open. Packaging is nice. Oh, brilliant. That's, uh, that's always a huge plus. When something's meant almost for travel, it's so nice to have a little travel case like this, a little handle. I'm not sure you're gonna take this up a mountain, but the case is really beautiful, really good quality. Yeah, really nice. Swing it open. And honestly, it almost looks like a surgical kit, the way it falls out there. It looks super professional. Silica pack. Um, oh, little uh, air blower to clean the dust off. And a couple bands, rubber bands. I'm sure we'll figure out what that's for. And then in here we have the crank, which again is really nice. The wood on that is really beautiful. Um, aesthetically super pleasing. A little brush, again, to clean out the grinder when you need it. And then this is the grinder itself. And it is, the word I would use is robust. It is sturdy, it's strong. Um, it's made with stainless steel and yeah, it's like, it's solid. This is an absolutely solid piece of equipment. Um, the one thing I didn't see is an instruction manual. There it is. Which is actually, this is kind of great. It's just a QR code linking you to the manual. So I love it when people aren't wasting a bunch of paper. So that's great. I'm not gonna use that because I am uh, stubborn. Uh, on the bottom here, it looks like this is the housing for the grinds. That there is another silica pack. And it looks like it's actually a pretty simple process. It looks like, close this up. And then along here you have different numbers, zero to eight. According to what I read beforehand, there are 90 settings that you can make on this grinder. Each click is, uh, you can hear them. They're tiny little adjustments, or you've obviously got the massive adjustments. Each click, they say, is 22 microns difference. I have no idea how different that is. But from what I've read, about a five to an eight is your slow brew method, your filter coffee method. And then if you get into the one to four, that's where espresso happens. So what I'm gonna do to start, or just to test this, is line up about a two. Let's see a two. And you know where you are because there's a red dot on the end. This grinder has a 30 to 35 gram capacity and obviously it can't be one thing because some coffee is more dense than the other. But the typical espresso runs something like 16 to 20 grams. So it's well within reach of making, you know, a single espresso or any other brew method. So let's pop some beans in. We'll use our El Salvador. So I'm very curious about retention. Basically, if I put in 18 grams, how much do I get out? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna screw off the bottom and I'm gonna weigh the bottom. And I'm just gonna hand pop in some of our El Salvador filter roast. I'm literally gonna put in uh, 18 grams, which would be a typical espresso dose for us. Okay, 18 on the dot. Um, I'm guessing you dump the coffee in like that. Screw on the bottom. Pop this on the top. 
and then grind. Oh, it's work. Yeah, it's still work for sure. But actually, once you get it going, it's not so bad. It's, uh, it's smoother. I found that with the skirt and sometimes it would jump. You would kind of have like these popping moments. Whereas this is, it's work for sure, but it's more, it's more smooth. And remember, this is a two setting, so it, it's quite fine. Oh man. It is a workout. Yeah, that's done. Okay, so that was work for sure. Um, definitely wasn't easy. But let's take this thing off and we'll weigh it out. And 17.6 grams. So it's retained a tiny bit but it's not so bad, especially considering how finely I ground it. I feel like that's not terrible. And I will say this, that is too fine. For an espresso, that, this would not run through our espresso machine, I don't believe. It's just too fine. In fact, I'm gonna try it, and I'll come back and I'll tell you. Let's just press play. It's not gonna get through. In fact, it's coming up and over. Okay, so that was definitely too fine. In fact, we could not even get the water to pass through it. So a setting of two on this is extremely fine. And looking at the actual grind, it was so even, I was beyond impressed. So yes, that was a workout, but it was probably mostly because I had the grind setting way too fine. So I'm gonna clean this out and I'm gonna jump all the way back to like a four. In fact, let's go to the, let's go all the way to a five. I'll tar this out. We'll do another 18 grams. If I got any strength left in my arms. Okay, that's 18.3. Pop this off. Functionally, I think this is awesome. It's just really clean, easy to put together. I'm always worried about breaking my Hario skirting when traveling. This will break things in my luggage, not the other ways around. So let's twist this to a five. And pop it back on and have another, and have another go. Yeah, that's still hard, but much easier. And you can hear that the sound is louder from the grinder. But it took me, I don't know, like a, almost a solid minute to do the last one. Neil, the camera guy, is saying two minutes. This has been, what would you call that? 15 seconds, 20 seconds? And out the other end, we have a nice looking grind. And it's actually the exact same weight. I'm guessing probably because there's some of the retained coffee from before that's come through. So. That's a nice little weight. I'm again gonna now clear this out, running through the espresso machine, see what happens. Okay, so I'm looking at the, the bed of this and it looks too coarse now. But we'll run it through anyway, just so we can kind of figure out how hard this is gonna be to use as an espresso grinder. I'm guessing the water is going to just come flowing straight through that. Yep. So it took some finagling at first, but we got there and I didn't show it on camera, but we found that about three and a half on the settings was almost perfect for our espresso. We ran a 36 gram espresso, ran 26 seconds and it tasted amazing. And the thing I was really impressed about with this grinder is just the evenness of the grind. And with a burr grinder, that's the main advantage is just having that real perfect symmetry. And you need that perfect symmetry in your grind to have a nice consistent coffee. So my overall thought on this grinder is it's good. It's about a 200 euro grinder. It's solid, it's not gonna get old. It's accessorized nicely. It's going to last a long time and it 
is a little bit of exercise to get that really fine espresso grind, but if you're looking to use in, you know, a pressurized espresso system, this is going to be phenomenal for you. And even if you have a non-pressurized espresso system like we do, you can definitely fine tune this really nicely and have nice espresso shots. Just expect to be grinding for about 45 seconds to get it right. And uh, that's it for us. We'll probably have another video on grinders or something like that pretty soon. So stay subscribed. We'll see you next time.